Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Toast Turf Talk. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, this week we are back in the workshop behind me and the guys are busy in there servicing one of our fairway mowers. So the guys that are doing that are part of the specialist team. So they're highly qualified green keepers and know exactly what they're doing when it comes to these machines and what they're looking for performance wise going forward. So we're going to catch up, you know, James is busy servicing the power unit itself. We'll talk a bit more about that. And then we've got Ian in there, he's doing the cylinder grinding. And we'll catch up with him too, talk a bit more comprehensively about what he's doing to the mowers in there. Uh, before we go in the workshop, I would like to explain this is a working workshop. So there will be a bit of background noise. So if some of the sound comes a little unclear. That'll be the reason why. So there's things like fan heaters going on in there. There's welding, there's all sorts. So apologies for that in advance. But I'm sure you'll enjoy the video and let's head into the workshop see what they're up to. I'm inside the shed now and here we've got one of our fleet of Jacobson 405s. There was one of these in the shed a couple of weeks ago when I did a video during the frost and I can assure you this is a completely different one. So these are real frontline machines. Uh, these aren't just mowing the odd bit of grass here and there. These are used for all our fescue crops, for all our arena gold shortcut crops and are very very important members of the fleet so therefore they get lots of attention to detail and service and maintenance. So at the moment we can see the cutting units are off, they're over here look, and Ian's down here somewhere, you know, grinding them one by one, we'll go and catch up with him shortly, talk a little bit about that. So what sort of things are we doing on this? Well, general checkup, so we're doing lots of grease points, we'll also be, you know, dropping the oils out, so the engine oil, the hydraulic oil, replacing air filters, replacing fuel filters, looks like this one's maybe having a new, a new drive belt of some sort, I guess probably fan belt perhaps. So like I say, these are frontline machines, we need them to be reliable, we need them to perform for us, and the expert service this gets, I'm pretty sure it will do that. So James is busy on this one at the moment, so he's down under there somewhere. Alright James? All good? Excellent. So James just putting the hydraulic filter back on, then he'll be topping up. He's got the drain holes here ready, obviously helps the oil drain out better if there's no plug in the top. So James doing a great job there. So I think what we'll do now is we'll go and have a look at the, the business end of the unit, i.e. the cutting units, and we'll go and catch up with Ian. So we'll just have a little wander over now, have a chat with Ian who's doing the grinding. Ian we've met before on a spraying video, one of our most experienced specialist turf team here, ex-head greenkeeper, course manager for, for years, so the right man to be on these grinders. Uh, lots of different types of grinders you can buy. We use Bernard's and we've got two different types here which Ian's going to explain to us in a minute a bit more about them. So we like to try and keep things in house as much as we can. As I say, very experienced pair of hands on this. So we'll just go over to Ian now and we'll ask Ian to explain a little bit about the two grinders themselves. So over to you Ian. Alright, this, this one's the Express Fuel 4000 um, and this one grinds the cylinders basically. It's pretty straightforward machines to use. Um, they're the most straightforward on the market. Um, you don't have to strip the cylinders out, which you do on, on some grinders. All you have to do on this is just release the bottom block with the bottom blade on. Um, and then it just fits on. We have different fittings for different cylinders. There's different ends. Um, there's all different ends, different fittings. And uh, obviously you change over, it just depends which ones you're using. These are Jacobson 405s at the moment. Yep, so these can be these grinders can be adjusted to fit any sort of cylinder mower then yeah, Ian. There's, there's nothing we've got John Deere's, we've got Toro's, we've got Jacobson's, yep. we've got Haters uh, and we've got all the uh, fittings and attachments to suit every mower. It's just a little bit of um, patience setting it up but once you've set it up for one machine it's spot on. It's yep. very good. Yeah, what's the importance of having really sharp cylinders then Ian? Well, end of the day, sharp cylinders, sharp bottom blades that I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, match them up together. Obviously, quality of cut. You're not, you're not tearing the grass, you're getting a clean cut. So yeah. it's uh, helping with all disease yeah. and everything. Um, and it just looks sharp. Um, yeah. You're getting an even cut all the way across. There's no striping, there's no line. And, and as we know, this is the business end of the mower. It's so really important that yeah. it performs right. Yeah. And like you say, the fact that we can in situ grind as well, obviously the hours and hours of stripping cylinders out. You know, during the service, we will check bearings and everything, of course we do. But to be able to just do this under them, sort of mid-season maintenance grind. Yeah, every, when, when we get the machines in for a winter maintenance, everything's checked, all the cylinder bearings, we check for them, all the rollers, they're all checked. Yep. Anything what needs doing, we all replace them in-house, bearings and cylinders. 
um, because of the amount of cutting we do, cylinders we probably go through a lot quicker than what you would on a sports ground or, yep. a, or a golf course. So we've now got pretty apt to stripping cylinders out and replacing them. Yep. Nothing goes goes away, everything's done here. Brilliant. So we've got the mechanics here um, to help us out if we do need any help. So yeah, it's great, we've got, we've got to be efficient because we've got so many of these to do. I do uh, so. 122 in a year normally. 122 Two units. Yeah. Me. Yeah. We are a little bit late to start this year yes. because the grass hasn't stopped growing, has it? Done any of this year. Yeah. So, so we look, we've got two separate grinders here, so that's the, the cylinder grinder. Let's have a look at the other one, explain a bit more about that. This one just uh, grinds your bed knife, this. So uh, your bottom blade fits to your bed knife. The same again, it's all about setup. Um, it's all set up on here. You've got, you put an angle on it as well, on your blade. Um, all computerised. You can set your angle for whatever you want. Um, when you put an angle on a bottom blade, the thing it does, it makes your clippings go out better into your boxes. Um, here's a cleaner cut, makes it go out, and obviously it protects the blade a little bit. If you didn't have any angle on it, it would some way your blade away. So you get a slight angle on anything from 7 degrees to 11 degrees. I normally put 7 degrees on everything. Um, that's the norm here. Brilliant. And also, uh, we don't just um, do them once a year, we might bring them in two or three times. And yeah, just give them a skim. Give them a yep. skim off, uh, which you can do with this. It, you can make a bottom blade last probably two months longer than what you would normally think. But Brilliant. These, these uh, machines really put a nice edge on them. So Excellent. Well, I, won't hold, I won't hold you up any more in. No problem. This is number, I don't know how many out of 122. Not, not many so. this time, actually. I'm <laughs> going to be busy after Christmas. Definitely. <laughs> So, no. thanks Ian, we'll catch you later. No Cheers problem. for now, let you crack on. Okay. I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into how we service one of our mowers. I see lots of the specialist team working on there at the moment. You know, working as a team as we always do getting through those mowers really effectively and really efficiently. So just to finish off, if you're going out this weekend to celebrate the new year, then have a great night, stay safe, and obviously we wish you a happy new year going forward into 2023. So like I say, have a great night and stay safe. On top of that, I just want to thank you all again for watching all the videos throughout the year. Thank you for all your support, for your subscribing to the channel, Tillers Turf TV. Please continue to like, to share, to retweet if you like what we do. Tell all your friends about it. Can't wait to make some more videos in 2023. And we're going to maybe just make one or two things maybe slightly different, which hopefully will make them even more engaging for you. But in the meantime, take care. We'll catch you next year. Cheers for now. Bye.